today we have future Weaver Warrior, six-year-old, who loves to sing and dance, Colby Early, is going to sing our national anthem for us. Wow, what an anthem from Colby Erdley here at Weber High School as KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, a Region 1 special, gets ready to face off. Thank you for joining us, everyone. My name is Dane Stewart, excited for the game we have for you here this evening as we've got a, a couple of teams that have been off to good starts, but a critical matchup in Region 1 as... The Fremont Silver Wolves, 8-4 overall, 1-2 in region play, take the short trek across the top of the valley to take on the Weber Warriors. Weber comes in 8-3 and 2-1 and and in region play. They are a game behind the Davis Darts. They'll take on Davis later this week. This is pivotal for the Warriors as they try to make that game against the Darts meaningful for a potential tie atop the region. Meanwhile, for Fremont, having lost back-to-back -back games, they dropped one to the darts last week and then dropped one to Farmington in overtime. Prior to that, Fremont coach Brad Searle comes in with a really prolific offense. Carson Isaacson, Davis Searle, they both return, and they're both approaching 30 goals on the year each. Caden Berry has 20. It's a lot of offense in that trio. They've got other support around them. It's been finding the back of the net early, getting that confidence going. We'll see if they can find that rhythm here on the road against the Warriors. For Weber, Coach Randy Allred, there's a lot of family familiarity between these two teams. We'll get into that as the game proceeds. But for the Warriors, this is a group that they play team lacrosse. It's not about any one individual. It's about the team functioning, and the team has been playing really well. Coming off of a loss against Farmington, but this Weber group, talking about 8-3, 2-1, they've got Davis coming up. This is a really critical game as they try to maintain that momentum. Several players that have been impactful for them offensively, including Cam Broadbent, a senior, 21 goals this year. Stetson Hogue, 22 goals this year. You've got Riker McMurdy, Ethan Law, plenty of guys that can find the back of the net for Wart Weber, and they might have to to keep pace with this Fremont offense, especially if Fremont can find some confidence early. It's the Silver Wolves and the Warriors ready to face off here on KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week, presented by Heidemann and Associates on the Rewind Sports Network. Face Weber in the home white uniforms, Fremont in the road blacks, and tonight's contest ready to be underway As off the opening face-off, this trickling down popped into the air and Fremont able to gather it. That was an aspect when we saw them a couple weeks ago against Olympus. 
Faceoffs were an area where you know Coach Searle and his Silver Wolves would love to found some more success, especially early as you see players getting tangled up here. This is an old school rivalry in every sport. Fremont now has a bit of a surge, sent over to the wing, got a trail. This is Searle, and that did not make its way through, picked up here by this Weber defense in Lamphere. Fremont pressuring. Jonah still with it, looking for the escape as Smitherman with it now. Starting goalie today for the Weber Warriors is the junior, Gabe Smitherman. A 538 save percentage for him on the season. Meanwhile, starting goalie for Fremont today will be Riley Souza, the junior. And here come the Warriors. This is Broadbent looking across. Wind up in a goal. Weber on the board first. What an assist. As I think, yeah, it was Riley. Nope. Jake Greenhall, the freshman with the goal. Sorry, I looked at the wrong roster. Greenhall, his ninth goal on the season, but he starts this one off for Weber. One to nothing. Another face off. Simpson winning it there for Fremont. Silver Wolves coming up. This is Caden Berry with it. Kenny Olsen running on the other side. A penalty flag coming in on that far side. As Fremont here looking to set up. This is Davis Searle. Talk about his offense. 28 goals on the year for Searle. 29 assists for Davis. One of the top point getters. In fact, I think the top point getter in the state. Coming up, and that shot saved. Nearly had a second look, but possession gathered there, and now we will get that first whistle. The penalty here coming against Weber. Good save there early for Smitherman. Call looks to be on Lamphere. So Weber will go man down here. A slash the call there. So one minute man up opportunity here for the Silver Wolves. Slash. Talk about how prolific of scores Fremont has. And now they have an extra attacker. We'll see if they can generate some offense. Get a good look here. Swung around. Searle sending up. This is Jordan Hill. Now straight away. Isaacson back to Hill. Trying to get this Weber defense moving around. Coming from behind Cage. Nice feed right in front. Shot and a goal. Hey, that's great offense on the man up opportunity for the Silver Wolves as it is Davis Searle scoring his 29th goal of the season. And we're tied up 1 1. Good look there for Searle. And you bring that man around from X, you force that defense to cover. A cutter right through the middle. A one on one. Great look there for Fremont. I want to remind you the clock you see on your screen, unofficial. At times we'll start it early, stop it late, just like we did now. Just to keep it trued up with the official clock here on the board in the stadium. Another face off one by Fremont. Searle coming back. Slide coming over, looking in front, and another Fremont goal. Quick goals back-to-back -back for the Silver Wolves as this one netted by Carson Isaacson, his 30th goal, and Searle with his 30th assist. 2-1 Fremont. We alluded to it in the open, how important faceoffs can be in this game. And when we mentioned Fremont against Olympus, Olympus dominating the, the, the faceoffs in that game. Fremont with some early wins here today. And we'll see if they can keep that on pace here on the road as another faceoff here gathered by Seth Hale, who came in there for support. We were trying to get this back and had it momentarily. Couldn't maintain it as that flipped out. And it will go to Weber.
Far sideline. Oh, ran out of room. Playing gray lines today, which a little challenging to see at times is coming in is Searle. Oh, excuse me, that was Isaacson. Big save there by Smitherman. Kept here by Searle. Played here behind the cage. Couple cutters. This one sent up. A little bit of space there for Olsen. A couple of defenders there making it difficult as Isaacson racing to try to keep this in and will, but doesn't have support, and Weber coming away with it. This is Pedersen up through the middle. And that one lost out. Back to Fremont. But that far line, we've seen a couple of trades of possession on that far side in this early going. And a penalty flag coming in here. We'll get the second call of the game. This one will be on Weber as well. And a tripping call here. Going to go on Lamphere. That'll be his second. Oh, excuse me. Yeah. They haven't had uh, the player come off yet. There we go. So Fremont going man up again. They're one for one on the day. As here's Isaacson, Kenny Olson coming up here. This is a one minute man up opportunity for Fremont. Worked around. Isaacson stepping up. Coming over with Searle. And GLE, that one couldn't be handled. It'll trickle out. And so Weber able to force the change of possession. And we'll see how aggressive they like to be here. Still a player down. Trying to look up through the middle here with Avner. Avner, very talented senior for the Warriors. Has opportunities to the next level. As do a number of Warriors. Here's Hogue. Back behind goal as the penalty time has expired. Back to even strength. McMurdo. Sent behind. Hogue works up with Hammond. McMurdy again. A lot of space on the perimeter here for Weber. Fremont keeping everything tight around the goal. Hammond trying to get an angle. He'll wind up and score. What a shot from Hammond as he goes over the shoulder. And Weber has tied it up at two thanks to Alex Hammond. Weber goal, number 21. Alex Hammond. Great job by the Weber attack. Able to free up a little bit of space for Hammond as he came around that topside curl. Able to find a shooting lane and get a big goal for the Warriors. Six and a half to go here. Opening quarter, two apiece. Fremont and Weber in this critical yet early Region 1 contest. This gathered by Max Chidester. Chittister, my apologies on that. Hogue working from behind goal. Looked for the skip there. Now we'll send out with Greenhall. Norda. One of the faceoff guys, or has taken faceoffs for Weber. Norda. Good support there. Not much of a lane. Brinton. As we were playing this around, Ethan Lee. 
Good defense there by Fremont. As that one given up, good stick work there by Dusenberry, but taken away the shot and a save by Souza. Boy, a great look there for Stetson Hogue. And Souza took it away from him. It was nearly like man on man, one on one. As we've got a timeout taken here by Fremont. Timeout, Silver Wolves, as we're locked up. Two apiece, you're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week. One of the more incredible views you'll find from a high school in the state of Utah, Earl Jones Field at Weber High School. And as incredible as this view is, it still doesn't cover everything that Rewind covers. Uh, proud to bring you this Region 1 special. As uh, you can see, just about everything from here. Incredible. Want to thank Coach Allred and uh, AD Trevor Howell for having us here at Weber High School. What a start. And coming out of the Fremont timeout, two apiece. Here, 5.15 to go in the opening quarter. Barry works over. Here's Searle. Hill. Patience here from Searle. Excuse me, from Barry. Barry was trying to get that over to Owen Hill. That was defensed well by Weber as they disrupt the passing lane. And now the Warriors on the run. Here comes Britton. Pierce. Wanted to get that over to Norda. Luke able to track that down to maintain the possession for the Warriors. Here's Lopshire. Walker Lopshire again. Trying to get to the middle. That one jarred loose. Boy, Fremont showing some physicality. We'll get the whistle here is... I think the first penalty of the game, yeah. I thought he had his flag, but. No, sorry, that'll be just be a loose ball push, I believe. Still Weaver possession. Hammond. Off that screen from Hogue, lost that, able to keep it. Here's Lee, starting from X. Coming around near side, that defense coming. As Souza able to take away the top of the cage there. Nice save there by Riley Souza. Fremont looking for the clear. Up through the middle here with Barry. Fremont has numbers if they hurry. Barry has help on the wing. This is Hill. Right in front. Oh, what a finish. How about that passing of Fremont? We talked about they had numbers. They work it to the wing, dissect the middle, and Fremont retakes the lead. Three to two. Fremont boy, I believe that was number three, Davis Searle. They credited the goal to Searle. I couldn't tell if it was three or two, Searle or Isaacson. We'll roll with the uh, official call here of Searle, so we'll call that his second. Fremont with another face-off win here. Here's Isaacson. Isaacson looking for Davis, the behind-the-back shot. That was deflected, and closest to was Weaver. Good chase there by the Warriors. I think that might have been Hunter Jones. I think that's 16 for Weaver. 
Here's Phelps. Able to get that across, and we were now looking to set up their offense. Hogue works right back there to Britton. Coming around, Pierce Britton. Oh, and that shot might have drew a little bit of iron. Kept here by Hogue. Hammond. That pass. Deflected boy hard. Check there. Kept here by Weber. Back to Hogue. The seniors made his presence felt, just did physically theirs. He'll run off. Britton able to keep this through the pressure. Now three Silver Wolves around him. They're able to check that loose. Good stick work by the Silver Wolves as they try to get the clear here with Jenkins. And Weber takes it right back. Nice job by Britton. Flag in on the play. Britton still taking those hacks. As Fremont trying to possess, they can't pierce stand with it. What a job by number 40 here for Weber. There's the possession. We'll get the stoppage, and now this will be a Fremont penalty. Wow, what a job by Britton. A slash call here will be the first penalty on Fremont in this opening quarter. So a one-minute man-up opportunity for the Warriors. Broadbent giving this with Hogue, who just came back on. Sent back to X with Ethan Lee. We were working it, sends it up, shot, and that one was just wide, backed up. Go Weaver! Go Weaver! McMurdy. Back to Broadbent, Hogue. About 20 seconds left. Kept here. Oh, sent to the wing. Oh, what a shot. How about that goal as Weber retakes the lead? It's Ethan Lee, but that assist, my goodness. I thought they were going to look to get one on net. Instead, the vision found Ethan Lee open on the wing, and Ethan gets his 16th goal of the year, three apiece. Weber goal number five, Ethan Lee. I think it was... Hogue on the assist. In the final minute of this opening quarter, face off, gathered by Avner as he's just looking for a little bit of space, throws it back to Smitherman. This one kept by Pedersen. Checked loose, trying to be maintained. Still on the ground. Lobshire has it. Final five seconds of the quarter. And Britain will just casually let this expire. Three apiece. Fremont Weber tied up after one. You're watching KSL Sports Rewind's Game of the Week presented by Heidemann. Ready to start our second quarter. Fremont Weber Tied up at three through the first period. Did confirm it was Searle with the goal for Fremont. Well, he's got two. Isaacson with the one. But meanwhile, scores for Weber, Lee, Greenhall, and Hammond. As this is Abner with it. Taking it behind goal, Hogue. Big wind up and a goal. Weaver retaking the lead. As a nice look there from Cam Broadbent, the senior scoring his first goal of the game. 
And that all set up with the play from X. Great look. Cam Broadbent was the second leading scorer for Weber coming into this game. He's now tied for the team lead in goals with 22 on the year. You give him that much room, he's going to make it pay. There were a good five yards or so for him to step up, gain momentum, find where he wanted to place that shot. Very accurate shooter. He's going to bury that most of the time, and he did. A face off gathered by Weber. That was an aspect that Fremont was really strong at in that first quarter. Oh, a little bit of a check given there by Case Bailey. Delivering some physicality for the Warriors as this trickling through the middle before being tracked down by Greenhall. A burst here, Norda. As we were working this back behind Britton. He's been active today. I thought he was going to have an opportunity to look. Instead, gave that to Hogue. Nice wind up there. That was backed up by the Warriors. Hogue. Come around. Near side turning back. Oh, and Souza taking it away. Good body save. This one trickling in the middle. Hogue has it back here. Fremont trying to jar it loose. Still on the ground. And Weber does have it. And now we'll get a penalty here on Fremont. So Weber going to go man up again. Ethan Lee scored on their first opportunity. This is going to be a short one, just a 30-second technical. Broadbent. Boy, a lot of movement. That pass just a bit wide. And it will be Fremont possession so they can kill off the rest of this man down. Searle, other intentions, stepping up, looking in front. There's the dynamic duo of Searle and Isaacson. Carson scoring his second today, and he ties it up at four apiece. Uh, that will go down as an even strength goal. But when that started, they were still man down. And it shows you they're not intimidated by any situation with the offense that they've got. And uh, that's fantastic passing play. Searle, Isaacson partnering up once again, as they've done for several years now for the Silver Wolves. A little footy going on here. And this one gathered by Brinton. He's been really strong today. Been impressed with his play as it's Broadbent in support now to possess for the Warriors. From GLE, Ho coming in, and that backed up. No. Wow. I'm a little surprised. It'll be Fremont possession. The Weber bench surprised. I think they're saying that was a pass. So it'll be Fremont possession. And Fremont gives it back. Britain will start it. Here's Lee. McMurdy. Hogue with the jump shot and no boy, Sousa saw that one coming. He's trying to get there. And it's gonna stay here. Boy, what a 
What a backup by Britton. Souza gave it his all. That was a great battle for the possession on that one. Talk about how impressive the senior Britton has been today. Hoag. Looking to send that up. Found his way through. Lee, the shot and save by Souza. Well, that's a well-placed shot. That's a great job by Souza tracking that as he gets the long throw up to Barry. Here come the Silver Wolves. They've got numbers. We were rushing defense on here. The shot and a goal. It's Davis Searle with another goal, his third of the game as Fremont retakes the lead here, 5-4. to four. On the face-off, Fremont with the possession. Holden Lane coming in to swoop that up. Tried to play that through the middle, gave it up. Teammates there disrupting it for Weber, and Fremont back with it. Barry, he's got a head of steam. Barry working back, space here for Searle. To Miller, who just came on. And a stick check there from behind. And Weber going to win this one. Boy, that's a great job of staying engaged in the play and just making the play you can. You get that stick in, is that shot's coming. Able to force that off target. And teammates there to help win it. Great job there by Weber. Trouble here, yep, yeah, that pass too tall. It will roll out, it'll head back to Fremont. <laughs> Space here up the sideline. Here's Hill. Six and a half to go in the opening half. Barry works up top. Oh, coming around was Owen Hill, but he couldn't possess it. As penalty flag in here on the play as we were looking for the clear. Lopshire still coming up. Oh, how about Walker? Lopshire had it jarred loose, trying to maintain it. And we'll get the call here. In fact, a timeout was taken, I believe. Nope, never mind. I thought that Weaver bench was coming on. They were just happy. It's a penalty here on Owen Hill. And so Weaver will go man up once again. One minute man up opportunity for the Warriors. Been a back and forth game as they look to draw even again. Hammond sends up. Good movement. Britton with that shot. Saved away by Souza. Kept here with Hammond. That pass broken up out of the air. Trying to possess it is Famuliner for Fremont. Weaver's got a couple players back as Seth Hale came away with it for the Silver Wolves. And now Souza. Up with Taylor. Taylor breaking through. Fremont. Searle. And Davis here looking content to try to kill as much of this off. Well, all of it off. And final seconds ticking away. 
Hill back on. Penalty killed off for the visiting Silver Wolves. Here's Searle. Being tracked by Medina. Searle has a lane and a goal. Wow, what a shot from Davis Searle as Fremont extends it to a two-goal lead. There's no safe space. You think he's far enough out, you think you've got defender there, and yet he still finds a way to beat you. So talented, what a player. Fourth goal of the game. We mentioned it, when they find their confidence and their rhythm early, this Fremont team, they are tough. As a face-off win by Avner. What response do the Warriors have? Broadbent. Coming around, got a little bit of room. We'll work back here. Norda. A little bit of gap, trying to dice through. That one was tall, backed up. Broadbent, working towards the middle, help coming. That pass on the ground, jarred away in the air. Fremont still trying to gather and they cannot. It's Heights that came away with it for Weber. Hogue. McMurdy finds a bit of a seam, and that one able to get past Souza. Boy, I thought Souza was tracking that one well, but just couldn't finish the play, and it's Taylor Heights scoring his seventh goal of the season. 6-5, Fremont. Boy, that's one Souza I think he'd like to have back. Got a piece of it. Just couldn't keep it out as Weber pulls back to within one. Procedure will give it here to Weber. Three to go in the half. Hogue still on this. That one off the mark. Britain trying to retreat. We'll keep it. Lopshire. And I saw Taylor trying to force him to the middle. Or trying to give, yeah. As this one trickles out, Weaver last to touch. That one given up, open net. Oh, and a big play made defensively by uh, Jenkins as Sousa was racing back to the cage and it looked like an open net for Hogue to tie it. And it was Cameron Jenkins able to disrupt the opportunity to help keep the lead here with the Silver Wolves. Hogue works over. Sent up with Hammond. Some room there, and there's Souza. Makes a nice stop. That shot was from Ethan Lee. Good velocity, trying to get that on the edge of the cage there. Souza ready for it. Here come the Silver Wolves. Searle, oh, he's got a step. 
Isaacson. A tough pass, and Miller lost place of where it was, able to maintain it here for Fremont. As we approach the final 60 seconds of this first half, Isaacson taking it behind, being defended by Pedersen. Gives the clock a look. 60 seconds left. Sends that up to Barry. Caden trying to find that edge, could not. A shot, and that one tracked well. Smitherman with the save as it was Searle trying to go up high. Boy, a call here is going to give it back to Fremont. And now we've got a timeout being taken. So we've got 38 seconds left, timeout. We'll be back with the remainder of the first half after this. Fremont with the possession, 35 seconds to go. Holding on to a one-goal lead. This game's been back and forth. Two goals has been the largest separation we've had between these two. Talk about the importance of this one. Davis coming into games today, undefeated 3-0. Weaver 2-1, as is Farmington. And Fremont at 1-2. For our region title hopes, Fremont. This may be a must win. Cutter through the middle. No looker behind the back there is off the mark. And I think Weber won that one. Yes, they did. Four seconds to go. Don't know that they'll get an opportunity. They will not. And that will do it. First half complete. Six to five. Fremont leads Weber in this region one showdown. Start of the second half, 6-5, Fremont with the lead. Four goals for Davis Searle. The other two for Fremont coming from Carson Isaacson. Meanwhile, balance scoring. In fact, five different goal scorers for the Warriors in that first half. We talked about in the open. It's a team effort for Weber. Been that way here today as Fremont here will have this possession. Both teams have scored on man-up opportunities. In fact, I think their first man-up opportunities they each scored. Since then, man-down defenses have played well for each side. Searle going around the Isaacson screen. He'll take the shot, and boy, just heat all day long from Davis Searle as he has scored his fifth goal, and that one... Boy, it looked like Smitherman. I, that one jumped on him quickly. Facing off for Fremont, number 30. And when you have that confidence to be able to just go and rock it from you know, 10, 15 yards out, it's something else. And Davis Searle has played that way this entire game. Pair of goals in the first, pair of goals in the second, and an early goal here in the third. On this face-off, one by Simpson. As that pass off the mark, it'll go back to Weber. That one jarred by the check in the middle. That was Isaacson able to force it loose. Carson's got it here. Worked in front. That was just behind Hill. And that will be out back to Weber. Fremont's executed those rush opportunities so well all game long. A rare miscue there that gives it back to the home Warriors. Here's Smitherman. Talking about a 538 save percentage coming into this one as that lob up the field tracked by Luke Robbins for the Silver Wolves. And now Dusenberry looking for the clear up with Searle. Look out. Been a game for Davis. Oh, he's got Hill right in front. 
and a goal. Fremont able to score. And just when we talk about Searle's scoring prowess, it's the vision finding Owen Hill open, the patience from Owen, able to find a lane to beat Smitherman, and it's the largest lead of the game now, 8-5 to five for Fremont. Facing up for Fremont, number 30, Caden Simpson. And for leader, number nine, back to the face-off. Simpson and Story. And this face-off won again by Fremont. And that taken away. Boy, good stick work by Afner. Here come the Warriors. Really, first possession for Weber in this second half. Brinton coming around, trying to work at GLE. And that one kept... No. My apologies. It'll go back to Fremont. So Fremont possession, working this up quickly. That one hits off the pipe from Hill. Track down by Phelps, trying to walk that tightrope. Phelps maintaining, looking for help. That was just a touch behind as Barry tracking it for the Silver Wolves. Boy, they had Hill. No, excuse me. Lincoln Miller was open as they were trying to get numbers right for Weber. Everyone able to get positioned well. Here's Isaacson. Now Hill. Eight and a half to go in the third. Isaacson working off that screen. The shot on the goal. Carson Isaacson with the finish for Fremont. And the Fremont Silver Wolves pulling away a little bit here in the third. Three unanswered goals in the first three and a half minutes for Fremont. And for Weaver number nine, Bennett Spray. This is where Weaver, see what response they have. They've trailed multiple times today. They've led as well. Every time they've come back from those to tie it up, feels like an important couple of possessions coming up as another face-off win, this time by Branson Hyatt for Fremont. Here's Isaacson. As Jordan Hill here at the point. Searle coming off that screen. Carsonson peeled off. Searle back to X will play with Price. Hill trying to keep that. Well, that's a good close out there by Avner. Able to take that away for Weber. Avner trying to get that out with Watkins. And they can't keep it in. It's back to Fremont. Our clock just a touch ahead of the game clock. We're just going to let it catch up here as we've got seven and a half left in the third. They'll give back to Barry. Behind goal. Here's Barry. Oh, 
We were here needing to find a stop. Searle trying to work off the edge there. Help coming, works back to X, can't handle it, and Fremont gives it up. Great help defense there by Weaver. Force a very difficult pass, and that D of Weaver gets the stop they needed. Boy, they've not held possession in the offensive end much in the second half as Medina trying to work past the pressure there, sending that ahead. Picked up by Brinton. Pierce trying to get around Barry. And the flag coming in there is Brinton there saying, hey, there was contact up high. We were a chance to play this out. Coming around, Hogue the shot, and no, that gathered by Souza will get the stoppage, and now the call. The slash here called on Fremont. Be the first man up opportunity for Weber in this second half. Hogue stepping in. Extra pass on the wing. Here's Britton. A little bit of room. Steps up that shot. Didn't make its way through. And now Fremont trying to get the clear. Jenkins will bring it across the middle. Still quite a bit of time on this man down for the Silver Wolves. But they get it up. And now you see them just be patient. As Fremont about to kill off another man down. Jordan Hill working back. <laughs> and the penalty killed off. Back to even strength. Here's Barry. We'll give to Isaacson. Carson coming around, thought about it. Keeping those eyes up. Carson, that shot goal going over the shoulder. Carson Isaacson now with his fourth goal of the game. Two of them here in the third. Right now, Carson Isaacson making his uncle... Upset. Coach Randy Allred saying before the game, hey, Carson's my nephew. Love the kid. We want to get him today. It's been Carson Isaacson with four goals. Davis Searle has five. That duo have found their stride in this contest this evening. A playoff or a face-off win there as uh, we were working up. Quick. A shot. Oh, Souza! What a save! Stetson Hogue was right in front of the cage, and Souza makes the stop. Weaver staying on it. Here's Lee sending it up. Broadbent trying to get the angle. A bounce shot and a goal. Cam Broadbent with the Weaver response. They desperately needed Broadbent with his second goal today. Weaver goal. And that ends what was a five or four nothing third quarter surge from Fremont. Important goal there for Broadbent, his second. And for Fremont, number seven, Branson Hyatt. We would love to do that another couple times. Get this closer with that fourth quarter coming up ever so quickly. This scooped back, gathered by Owen Hill. Taken away. Good stick work there by Bennett Story. <laughs> Desperately getting it to Bailey, but can't split the triple team there of Fremont. This ball on the ground still. Tried to be scooped up. Oh, Avner couldn't quite get there. Excuse me, that was uh, number 10, Chittister. 
And it will head back, or it will be Warrior possession. Oh, that one couldn't be kept. Weaver will give it up. What looked like one that could be gathered quickly, just off the tip. And Fremont now back with the offense. Here's Hill. Barry being pushed wide. Oh, coming from behind goal. You see that help of Weber coming up. And they did this earlier. Then you bring the player from X. This time it's Isaacson as he's got three in the third, five in the game. And it's back to a five-goal lead. And for Weaver, number eight, Luke Murda. A face-off win for Fremont. Fremont's been very efficient on their possessions in this third quarter. Ten minutes played, five goals. That's a pretty good clip. Taylor. Nope, excuse me. That is Barry. I thought I saw six there for just a minute, but my bad. Here's Searle. Running start, trying to get around the long pull. Kept here by Caden. Two to go in the quarter, Isaacson. We'll play this back at X. Searle gives to Hill. That shot was high and backed up here. Did have a change in cage for Weber. A Alex Silver has come on. Isaacson playing this up. Oh, looking backside and a quick shot and a goal. It's Searle back in the scoring column as you see that skip pass. And now Davis Searle has a pair of goals in every quarter today. Facing off for Fremont, number seven, Branson Hyatt. And for Weaver, number 13, Duke Hill. Just inside, 90 seconds to go in this third quarter. It's been a quarter of separation. What was a back and forth contest in the first half. Sees us with the largest lead of the game here. And it's been face-offs, really controlled by Fremont, allowing them to control a majority of the possession. And Weber has a goal here in the third. They had a great look by Hogue that Sousa just robbed him of. Other than that, there's not been a ton of opportunities. It's right in front. Hill, oh, and that one maybe took that. Thought it was easy money in the bag, but Weber able to come back defensively, make a nice play as they look to get this up the field. Boy, tough pass there. A little tall, deflected as it rolls up. In the air, last touch by Fremont. It'll be out. And it will be Weber possession. 
Final 33 seconds of the third quarter taken back to X by McMurdy. Riker. Over with Lopshire. Clock to 15. Hogue to the middle and Souza with a save. Try to go five hole. Riley Souza ready for it. Five seconds left in the period and Fremont will be content to take a 12-6 lead to the fourth and final quarter in this pivotal Region 1 battle. You're watching it live on kslsports.com. Getting ready to start the fourth and final quarter. 12-6, the lead for the Silver Wolves. It was a 6-1 third quarter advantage for Fremont. Weber needs one of those here in this fourth. Is that pass off the mark? Will go to Weber. Played over with Silver. Working up through Hammond. Now Norda. Talk about the Fremont offense. How about Souza? A couple nice saves in that third quarter. One in the final seconds, and then, of course, the beauty on Hogue early is that one a good goal for Weber. They start the fourth just the way they needed to as the wraparound opportunity for Luke Norda able to score his first of the game. Off the face off. Players on both sides to the ground via the checking and Weber coming up with it. Here's Lamphere. He's got some room. And he'll be patient. Give it to Hogue. Good decision there. Possession's really a premium here for Weber. You've still got you know, just under 11 to go, but boy, you want to take advantage of each and every possession you have here. Really make the most of your opportunities. Here's Lobshire trying to come around. Good push there. Boy, how about the save by Brenton? Hogue finds an open Hammond. Thought about it. Recognize not much room there, so Weber continues to be patient. Broadbent. Looking for a lane. He's got a shooting lane, and that's just wide. Boy, that's a great creation there by Cam Broadbent. You, you saw he saw the interior kind of move to the middle, tried to use his speed to get around the edge, and had a great look. It was just wide. Here's Hogue. Brenton. Boy, that's a quick shot that caught Souza by surprise, but is wide again, backed up. Ten to go. Good looks here for Weber. Yeah, Hogue has a guy right in front of the shot and the goal. Back-to-back -back goals for Weber, and the Warriors making a surge. Alex Hammond with his second goal today. Weber's not done yet. And it started right here. So Simpson coming back to the faceoff here for Fremont. As Bennett Story to the spot for Weber. 
And Fremont coming up with a big win. Thanks to Caden Simpson. Had good help there from the edge on Hill as Weber with the stick check now swatted up. And this ball will go out. It will uh, be Fremont possession. And lost open and scored. It's Britain. We have seen Fremont be aggressive on their clears with Souza coming out, and a couple times it's almost bit them. That time it does. Pierce Britain with the Weaver goal. Three goals in the first two and a half minutes for the Warriors in this fourth quarter. Uncle Mo switching sidelines here in this fourth quarter as the Weber fans feeling some momentum and Fremont coming up with it and we'll get a whistle here as I would kind of lost track of things. Sorry, there was contact and player down. Stick was lost. I apologize. There was a lot going on there. So Fremont here will start it. Yeah, there was a... Here's Isaacson. Barry. Working around. Tough angle shot. That's off the side of the cage. And tracked down there by Silver. Oh, a missed opportunity. Searle trying to keep this here. Crafty play there by Hunter Jones. I believe it was 16. Here they kick that up, and now Silver finding some room with Medina. Got to get it up. Weaver's trying to get a timeout. Officials don't see him. We got players in the middle that are trying to call the timeout. Wow. Seconds ticking away as bench and players all trying to call timeout. And it's going to be granted. Timeout, Weaver. It'll be Warrior Possession trailing by three when we come back. 8.19 to go, fourth quarter, Weber Possession. They trailed 12-6 to six to start this fourth quarter. They've scored three on answer, trying to make it four. Hogue. McMurdy. Boy, that's a tough entry trying to get that right in front. Fremont was really packing things in. Looking for the clear. They can't get it. Pedersen stepped in front. But Fremont took a timeout. Wow. What a timeout there by the Silver Wolves. The players don't even realize it. We'll get the call here. Timeout. Fremont. That'll keep possession with the visitors. <laughs> Fremont will start with it out of the timeout. Got to keep their foot on the pedal here as Weber's 
Rebecca had a great step in this fourth quarter. Barry coming up. Fremont seeming content here with a three goal lead. Inside of seven to go. Fremont working it around. Here's Isaacson. Of course, for those that get frustrated by these moments, lacrosse, a lot can happen in very little time. I saw a game this weekend. I think it was Siena Manhattan. I think it was a six-goal deficit overcoming the final minute. So you never know. Six minutes to go. Barry works in front, and Fremont with the finish. And that's the tough part about those situations is if you just lose track, a team like Fremont ready to attack, and it's Davis Searle with his seventh goal of the game. 13-9, Fremont. Searle was falling down as he got that shot away. And we have seen that from Fremont multiple times today, just the quick attack of this offense. Great play there on that face-off win as Isaacson possessing here for the Silver Wolves. A win here would improve Fremont to 2-2 two and two in region. They'd be two games back of, well, a game and a half back of Davis pending results today. Davis was 3-0 and entering the day. Of course, in no danger of not making the state playoffs. But for region title hopes, this game important. These two teams were both top 10 in 6A coming into the game today. A win will do good things for the RPI of the victors. Barry still on it. Got a step here. On that jarred loose. And Weaver has it. Pedersen being forced back to the corner looking for an escape. Here's Silver throwing up to Lopshire. Weaver on the run. Fremont racing back. And this one thrown into space, gathered by Broadbent. As we've got, we're approaching four and a half to go. Broadbent handed off right in front, and it is saved. Souza got a piece, I think. Backed up here. Boy, good look there for Britain. Right in front. Hogue gives back to Pierce. Sends over, and Souza able to slide over and gather that. See Britain aggressive there. Fremont able to handle it. On a bit of a run. And Isaacson here finding room. Carson still on it. Carson has space. A lot of room and the save made by Silver. Carson trying to get a second opportunity. Silver has it. A couple big saves there for the sophomore Weber goalie as we're inside of three and a half to go. Silver now feeling the pressure, able to evade, looking eyes up the field. They just bring on Greenhall. Ethan. Well, that's a nice job by Caden Berry, really sealing off that edge. Looked like Greenhall might have a lane. Berry said no. Hogue with a shot, and that is backed up.
Britain. Coming around. Stick checked away. Dusenberry with it for the Silver Wolves. Well, you see the hard close out there by Hogue. Nice job evading. A Famu liner up the near side across the midline. And a timeout taken here by Fremont. Two and a half to go. Timeout, Silver Wolves leading on the road. Two and a half to go. No timeouts left for Fremont. One timeout left for Weber. And every second that ticks off, ever so more important for the uh, home side is Isaacson playing a little ring around the Rosie here in the corner. We'll give it back with Searle. Searle found a little bit of space. That saved away by Silver, backed up. You want to talk about why you've got a condition as a player? It's moments like this. You see the legs of Isaacson and Searle. It looks like they could run another couple miles as that one stick checked away by Weber. They've got the possession back. This one finding its way through. Britain has the little edge. Britain. Trying to make a run in the middle. Really smothered out. And a flag here on the play. Fremont will go man down. I think just a technical here yeah 30 second technical on the push man up for Weber gotta capitalize here 115 to go Gives with Broadbent back to Hogue. Little two-man game there to GLE. Working around quickly. Found some room, and Weber scores. The rip on the angle. It's Ethan Lee, his second goal of the game. Both of them man up for the Warriors, as with one minute to go, it's a three-goal difference and a timeout taken by Weber. I think. Nope, never mind. The coach already was like, no, 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 we, we didn't call that. We're good. Let's keep going. <laughs> Critical face off here for the Warriors. Face off for number 12. And it's Avner out to take this one. Right, gotta have it if you're a warrior. Really, you gotta have everyone remaining. One, one minute, one, one minute, minute remaining in the fourth period. period. This one on the ground, scooped up by Hyatt and taken away. Warrior, the Warriors trying to get it through the middle, and a flag comes in. A Fremont penalty. Weber will go man up once again here. 44 seconds left. A push here will be another 30-second technical. 
<clears throat> Weber scored on the last one. Got to hurry. Working around, Hogue trying to dissect the D. That's a tough angle. Extra pass, Britton, the wind up, that's wide and backed up. 25 seconds left. About 10 seconds left here on the man up. Got to get him on cage. McMurdy skips across. 15 seconds left, a riser that is wide, backed up here again. 13 seconds left. Fremont back to even strength. Hogue stepping up. That shot deflected. Doesn't make its way through. Final seconds ticking away. The check. Fremont has it. And the Silver Wolves, a game they had to have in Region 1. They get 13-10 over Weber. <clears throat> Boy, what a contest today. Back and forth in that first half. That 6-1 third quarter. Really the difference. Our player of the game. We're going to go with Davis Searle. Seven goals for Searle today. Had a number of assists as well as he helps power this Fremont offense past their region rival, the Weber Warriors. 13-10, your final score. Fremont with the win as they improve to 2-2. Two to two. Well, these two teams now tied at 2-2 two and two in region play. They'll have another matchup before the season. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I forgot to check if Region 1 has multiple matchups. Two and two, both these two teams in region one at the end of this one. For Vince Francis, my name is Dane Stewart. Thank you for joining us. We've got another great matchup coming up for you tomorrow night. If you're available, join us for Brighton hosting Olympus one versus two in 5A. You can catch that game and games the rest of the year all the way to state playoff, to state championships only on kslsports.com. Good night, everybody.